Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Sprocket video. It has been a little while since I've actually done one of these, but I was hoping that today we'd actually have a good time doing it. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so today we are actually going to be building a World War 1 tank destroyer that we have already sort of built before, but we're going to do it again, and we're going to do it differently. So, uh, I think the way that I want this to work is we're actually going to make this way smaller. It is actually going to be a very, very small tank, uh, and hopefully it ends up being pretty good anyway. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and change this to World War 1, because, yeah, we need the measurements for World War 1. Uh, otherwise, it would be pretty weird. So, there you go. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and angle this forwards quite far like that. And honestly, we're actually going to go ahead and make this quite chunky on the back. Uh, which is weird, uh, but at the same time, it's completely fine. There we go, alright, good. Yes, uh, the lower section. Oh, I guess everything's just going to be smaller, so we're actually only going to make this thing 5 meters long. We're going to make it 2 meters wide, and yes, it is going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, the turret, obviously going to be way smaller as well. There we go. And in fact, the turret is going to be attached to the main thing. So, uh, if we can make this way smaller. There we go, make this way smaller. That's awesome. It is probably going to be fixed, actually. Uh, so we'll do that. There we go. Uh, and that is pretty sick. That works. We're actually going to go ahead and extend this out sideways. We're going to angle this in forwards like that. We're also going to angle this backwards and make it wide just like this. There we go. That actually looks really cool. Uh, but obviously, it is going to be a part of the main tank, so we're going to lower this down. Uh, we're probably going to push this forwards, if I can. Honestly, it's been a little while since I've actually played this game, but there you go. Something like that. That's pretty good. And the middle section, the length of it, is going to be really small. So we're going to go to about one. There we go. That's pretty sick. That is actually really, really cool. So, offset it forwards a lot more. Make sure it angles up with there. That's pretty good. Uh, and now, we're going to actually switch to our tracks. We're going to be angling the tracks now. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, straight into mobility. Let's go ahead and see what we can actually get up to here. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, tracks. Uh, I kind of want them to be way higher. And I don't think I can. Which is the weird thing. I, I want them to be way, way, way higher. We're also going to have a front sprocket, and it's going to be huge. So the diameter of the sprocket is going to be massive. We're going to have it all the way up there. And honestly, we're going to get rid of the fenders. There we go. I guess that's pretty cool. Alright, back to the tracks. Let's do this. So we're going to go ahead and grab these guys, and move them upwards. All the way up to there. We're going to push them forwards, kind of like this. And that is kind of how I want it to look. Kind of. Not really, though. <laughs> I don't know. Base, go back to the hull. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get rid of a bit of this on the back. Uh, if I can. Which I can't. Okay, height. It needs to come down. Uh, height of the lower section. Uh, it needs to go down. So, lower section. It's going to be way smaller like this. Uh, and yeah, that's fine. That's okay. But what is this section? Is this the higher section? Yes, it is. That's going to be way lower as well. And that's fine. Okay, cool. Lower that down. We're going to angle this up a little bit. Perfect. And we're going to push that back a good chunk. Uh, and that's pretty cool. In fact, we'll lower that down. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I thought we had it, but we don't. We don't have it. All right, so upper section, that's fine. Lower section. I guess it has to be a little bit higher. There we go. We'll do something like this. Something like this. And that actually looks pretty good. Yes. Okay, awesome. Go back to the turret. We obviously want to move this forwards. Move it sideways. And have that sort of fit together. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so with all that being done then, let's go back to mobility. Uh, we're going to go to the engine. And we're going to have probably quite a light engine. It's okay if it's slow. Uh, that is actually fine. Okie dokie. Good. Good. This is cool. Base, turret, hull... Oh, I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, mobility. Tracks. Uh, we're going to have one less wheel here. So, if we can, road wheels. Uh, spacing on axle. No, that's not it. That ain't it. Uh, width per axle spacing. There we go, like that. There we go, that's pretty sick. 
Uh, and actually, I kind of want it to be smaller. So the whole track section is going to be a lot smaller, like this. There we go. We're going to have really, really skinny tracks. That seems fine. Yeah. We'll also get rid of one of these guys. There we go. So they all fit. And yeah, that's, that's actually really cool. I like it. The idler also needs doing too. So there we go. Back to one. And we'll make it a bit, a bit fatter. There we go. All right. That is kind of cool. I like it. All right. So what is actually making us weigh a lot? It's the armor. Okay. So I guarantee that the armor on this is actually going to be wrong. Yeah. 100 mil. We can't actually even get 100 mil. So uh, the armor it was wrong. We're going to have that be 40 mil. We're going to have the frontal plate be only 20 mil. Uh, if we get shot head on, actually 25. There we go. Uh, the upper section is going to be a little bit more. It's going to be 30, because it's a lot more flat. Uh, and that's pretty cool. The sides are going to be 25, 25, and the upper rear. Hmm, where is that? Upper rear is going to be like nothing, to be honest. It's going to be like 10 millimeters. There we go, that seems good. Uh, the mid is going to be... 20 as well. We're not going to get shot in the butt. Uh, it's going to be 20 and the lower section will actually get rid of it. 5. There we go. Alright, cool. That seemingly is actually A-OK. -okay. That's good. Alright, go to the turret and do exactly the same thing. Armor. So the front, it needs to be quite armored, so we're going to go with 30. The cheeks are going to be 25. Uh, the roof is going to be 0 or 5. Let's go with that. Roof on the back. Uh, side... Probably 25 as well. Ring maximum. That's okay. Because we can't really see the rings. So that's okay. The rear is actually going to be 15. Uh, cheeks. 25. There we go. And then the roof. Nothing. Okay. Excellent. So it is still kind of heavily armored for a World War One tank. Uh, and that is a-okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. It's still well armored. Like well and truly. Okay. Go back to the hole. Uh, upper, lower... Belly and the roof, that's where we need to get rid of all of this. There we go. Okay, we're going to have nothing on the belly or the roof. That's good. Okay, cool. Uh, and for the turret, the roof on all of these is already zero. Okay, good. Uh, the rear might as well be zero as well. Okay, so rear, bam, zero. We'll do the same thing on this. Rear, zero, zero, zero. And hopefully we don't get shot in the butt. Good. Okay, so now we need a gun. So let's go to firepower and see what kind of gun we want. I kind of feel like this is a cool looking... Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. Hold on, go to shape. That is a big old gun. We, we can't have it be that big. It needs to be way smaller. So this thing is going to go right there. Uh, I'm going to actually... S uh, we'll put it down there. There we go. That's good. Uh, and we'll put our gun sight above it or side next to it or something. Uh, that's pretty good. It is way too big. <laughs> it is huge. Uh, it's only going to be a 35mm gun, which seems strange, but that's okay. Lower this down to about 40. There we go. And obviously, we need to lower the length of this dramatically because reasons. All right, there we go. So that is how big it would be. <laughs> what? We can't, we can't do that. Honestly, guys, we legit can't do that. But if it looked like this... Then I guess maybe we could. What is the pen? The pen is only 28 mil. Not good. Not amazing. We can make it slightly better. We'll make this 50. And we'll increase the length. There we go. Alright, cool. The pen is 32, almost. I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be pretty good. Alright, so the gunner's sight is actually going to go directly above it. And it is going to actually stick out the top just a little bit like that. And that is pretty good. Yeah, I think that works. All right, we got our gun. We got our tracks. We've got our engine. Uh, and that is all working. It's all pretty good. Uh, the crew. We're going to have a hatch on the front. It's a World War One tank. Uh, and obviously hatches aren't the best. But we'll put that right there. Ooh. Where do we want it? Probably right there, to be fair. We'll have it right on the front just there. Right underneath the gun. Uh, and the driver will actually drive it from the left. So it'll drive it from here. Bam! There we go. All right. Excellent. That is excellent. Good. Uh, we won't have any viewports. It's World War One. Don't need them. Uh, we'll actually attach this. Uh, ooh. At the very back of the turret? No. 
Back inside. There, we'll do that. That's kind of weird looking, but I like it. That works. Uh, antenna. We'll have one right there. Stowages. Ooh, this is where things get kind of interesting. Is that weird? If we have them, like, directly... What the? If we have them on the back end, and we have them sort of stick over the back end, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, why not? Uh, lights. We obviously need to put these on the bottom underneath. There we go. Very good. Uh, the lights obviously need to go on the front as well. We'll put them inside of there. That's pretty awesome. Utilities. Right, logs. We'll have... We'll have one log. We'll have one log and it'll go on the back. Right about there. I can't click it. I can't actually put it on. Why can't I place the log? Does anyone know? That's weird. <laughs> so for some reason I can't place the log on the back end. I really want to as well. I want it to go there. But I can't. Alright, never mind. No logs. No logs for us. Alright, anyway. Uh, we can have these. That's good. And we can have the tank track tools. I always put those on too. Uh, we'll put them right there. I can't seem to put them anywhere either. That's weird. I have that on the back of the turret. Yeah, that's kind of sick. That is kind of sick. Alright, anti-infantry. We're going to have a anti-infantry gun. Um, for the driver? I guess? Yeah, and that could go right there. Actually, slightly sideways. There. Okay. Excellent. This is looking pretty good. Uh, structural. We can add uh, some riveted parts if we want to. Obviously, it's not the best idea, but we'll add some anyway, because they look kind of cool. Uh, we'll add one to the side of this. Right about there. We'll add another one directly above it that's smaller. There we go, like that. And that's weird. But I like it. So there you go. Right. Mobility. Fenders. Uh, riveted panels. We're going to add something along the side of here. Which is going to be quite small. And... Presumably quite ineffective. So we're going to do that right there. Can I add one of these to the front? Of it. There we go. It's not really protecting very much this, is it? Not really. But it doesn't have to. So that's okay. Show that's okay. Alright, there we go. I'm going to put that right next to that one. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this one as well. Alright, very nice. And we'll put this bit on the back end. Actually, we'll use one of these. We will use this piece. Okay, and that will go right there. Okay, excellent. I think that's fine. It looks weird, but I like it. We need it on both sides, though. What the heck? Okay, so there we go. We've added it to both sides. I still feel like this thing is way bigger than it needs to be. Uh, I was feeling like building like a really small tank, but we might do that next time or at some other point, actually. Uh, so that's all A-OK. -okay. I want to use all of the available space as well. And honestly, because we haven't used... Actually, I don't even know what this should be. Is it? Is it German? Is it? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what countries we should put on this thing. But anyway. All right, okay. Tracks. The tracks are fine. Uh, we're going to make the track segments look like this. World War One ish That's good. We're also going to use these guys because I think we should. Road wheels are also going to look like that. And the idler mount is going to look like this. The sprocket mount is going to look like that. And that's pretty sick. There we go. Idler wheel already looks good. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. This is... I think this looks cool. Uh, right, okay. Go to the engine. Duh, 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 duh. We need some exhausts for this thing. And some vents. We're going to put a singular vent over to the side. Okay. And we're going to put the exhaust on the other side. Um, that's going to go kind of like that, I guess. Yeah, sure. The exhaust is going to come straight out the back. That makes sense. All right, very good. Fuel. We're going to add extra fuel just above the exhaust, which seems weird, but that's fine. And that will go right there. Okay, very cool. Very cool indeedy. Okay, is there anything else that we really, really need? Um, probably paintings, some decals. Here we go. So place decal. We'll put it right on the side right here on the turret. Bam. And we'll actually make it French. We'll have a French tank. I do need to change the uh, the camouflage though. If we are going to make it French. Okay. We're going to have that be like that. That's good. And we're going to have this go directly in the middle of here. 
And it's going to be French too. Okay, very good. So we got a French tank. We now need to change the paint to be a French color. So we're going to go with a hue. It's going to be blue. Okay. So like that, I guess. Roughness, quite a lot, I guess. Metallic, quite a lot. Scale, doesn't matter. Condition, I feel like it should be quite bad. I feel like it should be really bad. I think that works. I like it. Okay, also, because I did actually want to carry these logs, we're actually going to add them to the sides of here. So we can actually put them on both sides, and we can add them to the sides of the armor, just like that, and I think that works. Honestly, I think that's pretty good. We'll have some tow hooks, there we go, and we'll put some on the back as well somewhere. There we go, and that is, that's it. I think that's all we really need. Uh, we'll also put one of these on the roof, uh, spin it around, and we'll put it right there. Okay, that is awesome. I think this thing works. All right, we need to check the mobility before we do anything else. Uh, it's currently average. We'll have a, ooh, a medium engine. Yeah, that works. Transmission, we'll have... Two going, ooh, three forwards, two backwards. That makes sense. And I think we're good. Honestly, I think we're good. We have spare tracks. Okay, because we are in a World War One tank, I feel like we should just carry spare tracks. So we'll put one there. There we go. We'll grab another set. There we go. Put it next to it. I can't actually put it right next to it. That sucks. Alright, if I do this and put it in opposite, bam. There we go. Alright, that's what we're going to keep. Does it move? Let's see. Yes, indeed it does. Will it be able to do no tanks land? Who knows? I'm not sure. The gear ratios are all wrong though, and that's really annoying. It is actually super annoying when that happens. Uh, and I don't know what to do about it, not going to lie. Let's... Oh. I don't know what to do about it. We can't turn. We can't turn. Do I make this higher or lower? I can't even remember. Uh, let's make this one, and then do that. And then let's make this three, and do this, and then go. And we're going to have to stop to turn. And honestly, for a World War One tank, that's not even bad. Let's just go with that. Okie dokie, so now we actually need to put it up against an enemy, and honestly, I can't even remember how to do this. Uh, I don't know what the button is. I, I can't remember what the button is to spawn an enemy. It is not whatever that is. Jeez Louise. Alright, it's A. Why? Did I? Really? It's not A. What did I just... What did I press? It's Z. Okay, right. So, let's go ahead and find a World War One tank, and we'll go up against it. Here we go. For some reason, I cannot move. Alright, respawn. Respawn, what are we doing? We need to find the B4 again. Hold on, where is it? There it is. And we need to take it on. Let's do this. Deflected. Missed. Deflected again. I don't think our gun's very good, guys. I don't think our gun is very good. Damn it. That's not good. You know, there is a little bit of a problem with this as well. We don't actually have the ability to uh, azimuth the rotation of the gun. So it can't actually go side to side, which isn't the best. But I do think that this actually suits this tank way more than any of the other manlets. So I think we're going to stick with it, which might be weird to you guys, but we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. Okie dokie, so here is No Tanks Land, and I think this will work. I mean, we're gonna give it a go anyway. Uh, if it does work, that's great. If it doesn't work, then that's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. We're gonna actually extend these out quite a bit now. There we go. Uh, and the length of them, well, they're gonna be quite long. There we go. I think that works. Um, and that should be fine. Powertrain, twin transmission, that's good. Uh, internal fuel, Oh, it really shouldn't be that much. Let's go with 200 liters, maybe. Maybe 150. There we go. We have an external tank as well, remember. Uh, and I think that's good. We'll have our tank on the back. All right, right there. 
Okay, well also, just because we are in no tanks land, we need to be able to cross trenches. So we're going to go to structural, we're going to grab one of these, and we're going to whack it right in the back, like that. Okay, that works. Let's go. Alright guys, we are actually going to war now. Remember that we don't have an azimuth thruster, an azimuth thruster, an azimuth thing on our gun. So we can't actually turn it left or right unless we use our tracks to actually aim. We need to remember that I haven't went with an like absurdly overpowered gun as well, because we have been doing that in the past. Uh, and yeah, we're going to struggle. This time we are definitely going to struggle. And to be fair, pretty much every other time I've done this map as well, we have struggled. Except, uh, most of the other times, we haven't had spare tanks. So, we got this tank right behind us. We have another few tanks over there. And that should be good. I'm going to talk to the team too. Uh, convoy. Alright, so I think they're going to follow me in. However, <laughs> they're not. So, that's a thing. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to continue moving forwards. Uh, and I'm going to continue with this one tank and see what it can do. Alright, they are landing their artillery around me. We're going to continue now when the artillery is landed. And we're going to cross over the bridge, hopefully. Uh, are any of my tanks actually following me? No. Am I getting shot? Yes. Alright, come on. Let's get across here ASAP. As soon as possible. Okay, we did not crush the bridge. Guys, we didn't crush the bridge. The artillery has landed all around me again. But we're okay. Alright, keep it moving, guys. Oh, we're getting shot. There's something right there. Alright, let's hit that one first. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't see it. There it is. There it is. Too low. Too low again. We got it. Okay, right. Let's have a little look for some others. Where is the other one that was shooting me? There you are. Woo, that was close. All right, there we go. Took out the other AA gun. Sorry, AT gun, I should say. Uh, and we're good to go. Keep going forwards. Where are other tanks? They're all way behind me. It's all right. Let's just keep going. All right, slow it down. Go this way. <laughs> this is not a very good tank. It is. It's quite slow. Uh, the turning is not the best. And the gun obviously sucks. Uh, but that's okay. I right, continue over this bridge. We are light, however. So all the bridges, we are actually able to just cross, which is great. I just took another hit. We are going to turn to the side and hopefully shoot it, whatever it was. Where are you? Is that you? Was it you that shot me? It was. All right, higher. There we go. AT gun gone. Okay, very good. Where are our tanks? We want them to get to here. Okay. Right, we just got shot from the right. All right, turn around. <laughs> There we go. This is not the best way of doing things, obviously, but where is this gun? I don't even see a gun over there. What did we just get shot by? What the? The heck, guys? I don't even know what we get shot by. Also, when it comes to fighting tanks, we're going to have issues. We're going to have big issues. All right, there is something in front of me shooting at me, and I don't know where... Oh, there you are. Too high. To something. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I missed again. This ain't the best. This is not the best situation. I wish there was a handbrake in this game, not gonna lie. Alright, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. I missed by a mile. No, come on, I'm getting so close. Hiya. I'm slowly falling down a hill. Oh, this sucks. Alright, come on. I think the AT guns have bigger rounds than the tanks. So I'm trying to focus on that. Alright, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, right. My other tanks still aren't with me. So that's a struggle. <laughs> but that's okay. Don't worry. We're good. We're good. Alright, this guy. I missed. I hit, but it didn't go through. No. No. I don't think we're going to get through this guy's armor. We're just going to have to continue. Oh, this is such a bad idea, guys. This is such a bad idea. Like, I can't shoot the enemy. I can't kill them. And, uh, I mean, they can't seem to kill me, but I think they will eventually probably kill me. 
Alright, try and shoot this one. Trying to shoot him in the side. Maybe if I can track him. Alright, I've changed my ammunition. Try and track him, track him. Alright, that one might be... No. No, I can't track it. Okay, we're just going to have to go for it. Whatever. Let's go. Guys, I am kind of stuck in a hole. Like, kind of. But not really. But like, yeah, I am. Alright, okay. Come on. Round the side of the hole. Ah, oh, there we go. We're going to have to go that way because there's no way I'm getting out of that. And I don't want to point my back towards these guys. So, let's turn towards them. Because we're now more side onto them. We're going to try and kill this guy. Oh. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright, whatever. Continue. Let's go. Stopping and starting really sucks, but if we can do it, we can do it. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. That is a muddy pit right there. Do we go through it? Who knows? Alright, let's get, let's get angled. There we go. I've taken so many shots from these guys. It is unreal. Okay, we're putting our armored round in. AP round. No. AP round now. No, okay. I can't do it. <laughs> we're going in. We're going in the muddy puddle. It seems like a really bad idea. Ah, doesn't seem to impact us. We're good. We're too good at this game. Right, where are the... Oh, this is where we're going to struggle. I don't think we can cross over without a bridge. I need a bridge. Oh, no. Is this where we lose? This crossing point is wide. And I am not that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. C no. There's nothing I can do. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, guys. There's nothing. I'm trying to reverse out. And it does appear that I am doing something. Ooh. Come on. You're a strong... You're a strong tank. Yeah? No? I don't think I can do it. Let's do some shooting to hopefully help us out here. Alright, remember. Go. I don't know if it's helping me or hindering me. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. We've been destroyed. I mean, we haven't been destroyed. This tank could make it if it had a competent driver. Also, look at how many rounds this thing has taken. Wow. And on the side as well. Hot diggity dog. Wow. That is a crazy amount of rounds. That's insane. Okay, so I was wondering where my other tanks actually are. They're all sat in spawn because they can't make it up the first hill. Now, that's probably my bad, to be fair. If they can't make it up hills, then what are they going to do? Uh, yeah. They would drive around them. That, like, a competent driver. But no, they didn't. So that's a thing. Um, yeah. Even this one is stuck on, like, flat, flat land, pretty much. So I think this tank has been a failure, unfortunately. It was a very cool tank. I think it looks awesome. It just failed. So, um, yeah. Say goodbye to this World War I French tank. It failed. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.